It is a patient person indeed who endures City of Brass without a great deal of suffering, even by the exacting standards of the roguelite genre, which aspires to difficulty like most games aspire to fun. This is a grueling, grinding, brutally hard experience, one that inspires bitterness and resentment rather than satisfaction or joy. Criticizing a game for its difficulty is a delicate matter because one person's excruciating gauntlet is another's leisurely cakewalk. But even for a veteran of notoriously challenging trials like Bloodborne and Cuphead, City of Brass aroused no feelings so strong as misery and anger. Even after defeating its backbreaking final boss at the end of the seemingly interminable 12 stage campaign, it illustrates an important distinction between challenging and torturous. You play as an unnamed vagabond on a quest to gather treasure and escape alive. This, naturally, is easier said than done. The successive samey-looking Arabian mythology-inspired chambers and courtyards of the city are teeming with the most indistinguishable demons and sword-wielding skeletons that get tiresome quickly. Oh, and every one of them shrieks and cackles loudly and incessantly. You have a sword, which you can wag in the direction of your foes gingerly, and a whip, which has a target area of about one millimeter and must be cracked with sharpshooter accuracy to connect with anything at all. On the whole, fighting enemies is easier than fighting the controls. Its clumsiness makes battles feel unsporting and losses wildly unfair. There are also traps, a nightmare for the accident-prone, snaring you viciously without warning from the well-hidden nooks. It cannot be overstated how infuriating it is to bumble into yet another secret pit of spikes as you feel you're blithely hitting your stride. <laughs> There's no doubt that City of Brass is meant to be punishing, but its monotonous design and reliance on exotic cliché make it as uninteresting to experience as it is excruciating to endure. Most crucially, the sense of discovery and true unpredictability that make death in a great roguelite compelling is absent here because of scant variety in how the levels play out and which upgrades feel mandatory for success. There's just more arduous scavenging, demoralizing repetition, and maddening, spirit-crushing mistakes. <laughs> That's our review for City of Brass. If you don't take our word for it, check out nine minutes of gameplay. Look at all those skeletons. And for other takes on the roguelike formula, check out our reviews of Into the Breach and The Binding of Isaac. And for everything else, keep it right here on IGN.